Today I want to go over a new feature by NPM called NPM Audit. NPM Audit is a new feature from NPM in which it automatically checks all your dependencies and its dependency tree for packages that are vulnerable to security flaws or packages that are malicious. For a company like NPM, this is critical because in, in an ecosystem like NPM, if somebody puts a bad package within the ecosystem and everybody install it, it will create a huge security flaw throughout the web. You don't even have to install the malicious package directly. If a library you use has a malicious package installed as its dependency, you will get it as well. So it's critical for NPM to maintain its ecosystem to not allow anything malicious to go through. That's why the creator of npm added this new command to npm.js to allow you to check for vulnerabilities. So today I want to show you how that works. You have to upgrade your npm.js global command with npm install npm-g. This will get you the latest version of npm which contains the npm audit command. Make sure to always up to take your npm up to date to get the latest and greatest. And now I have the latest npm installed. I can go to one of my packages in the Pentacle repository. Let's take the Create React App Redux, for example. If I go in there, make sure that you have package lock.json. Since I'm using, I created this package, this uh, project a while ago before the npm lock file was released, I need to make sure that it has the package lock.json. So here, I don't have the package lock.json. So I need, if I run npm audit, it says I don't have the shrink wrap or the package lock.json. So in order to do that, I need to do an npm install on the create react app redux repository. To install the latest app uh, repository, sorry, the latest packages, and then with the latest npm, it will automatically add the package lock.json to my folder. So now I have the package lock. I can use the npm audit command to automatically go through all the packages in here and their sub-dependencies to check for vulnerabilities. As you can see, after I do npm install, it actually tells me I have 40 vulnerabilities found in this package list. And with 5 with low secure severity, 29 moderate, and 4 high, and 2 critical. So I need to run npm audit here to see what's going on. Now if I clear the console and do npm audit, Within a couple of seconds, you see a list of detailed results for all the packages that have vulnerabilities. So for example, this package called debug has regular expression denial of service. So this error will cause denial of service to your application if not patched. And here in the path, in the dependency, it's a dependency of React scripts. And then from the path of this dependency tree, you can tell that React Scripts depends on ESLint plugin import, which depends on ESLint module utils, and then which requires the debug package. You can check for more info about the security flaw in this link below. Now the white ones are pretty not severe, they're low. The moderate ones are a bit more severe. Same thing with the high Severity. These are very uh, high se uh, uh, severe. So you need to check what package was using this sshpk package, and you need to go to the maybe the author of HTTP signature, and then make sure that they patch, find the latest version of sshpk to install it as a dependency of HTTP signature. Now this will in turn make everything else good when you update the latest. Now some library authors do not have the latest code released since it's an open source community, then some of them are not getting paid to do this. So they'll, they'll release a patch really slowly. So it's your job to make a PR to the author to have, help them um, fix this error. Now this here are some manual reviews that requires my, my attention to resolve. So you can actually go here to find out more info about how to fix things in, audit, in this audit guide by NPM. But here, these are very critical errors that you have to fix. 
This allows command injection, for example. So anybody can inject a command into your server or to your application to break it. This is very cool by NPM and props to the community to get this tool out to help everybody uh, patch their dependencies. So I hope you find this tutorial useful and start going through all your projects and start patching up all your dependencies. I'll see you next time.